Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the long dark. So, I haven't done much off camera, but I did get some wood and some coffee. Yep, there goes my coffee. Peak reduced, but that's okay. Because we're going to do some exploring. And it's kind of annoying to get tired when you're exploring, so I uh, make some coffee. That way I can explore without getting tired. Maybe about four cups of gel. So that should uh, keep us awake for a while, I hope. I brought my pot along too, so if we ever need to get more gel. Breezy here, isn't it? That's my free burr. This is going to be more of an exploration and cryptography episode. We're going to go down the uh, rope over. This way, where I'm pointing with the revolver. We're going to see what's down there. Uh, I'm walking straight into the wind, as usual. We got a cargo container again. There's the rope I went up to go to the summit. Pretty tall mountain, isn't it? Two other sketch here. This looks like a sheltered spot. No, not anymore. Grab my Joe? Eh, it's not needed now. There's no bear, there isn't a up. There's a cargo container down here. not see this when I went up the river before. It seems kind of odd. Could end up being useful. Yeah. I'll take that. Mm, no. It's not bad loot, but it's not that it's nothing that I don't have. This needs to be fixed. This is any good to eat. Yeah. Tons of food. I 
Let me go grab a couple of these ragged fleece mittens so I can fix my my ear wraps. There. That'll do for now. Yeah, it's really weird that I uh, didn't see this container earlier. I'm sure I... Oh no, I wasn't up to here. Ah. I was up to there. Uh, okay. Oh right, there's a second rope. The place where I found the bear was um, at the bottom of the next Hill. Not this one. Yeah, that's the climbing rope over there. Get down to the bear. Bear hideout. Oh, look at that, a rabbit throw. I think this is Andre's peak coming up on the right, so we're gonna head up there and check it out. Is there a container here? I think so. Let me check. How do you get up to Andre's Peak? No, nope, there's no containers here. Okay. Is this up here the way up to Andre's Peak? I think it is. Yeah, that seems about right. Oh, it's very steep. Hope we don't get a sprain on this hill. Here we go. everywhere. Old man's beard up here. Time is it? Oh, already noon. Wow. Time flies in the long dark. Yeah, there's this little cave over here. I've uh of wood in here, but I'm going to leave that. I might need it if I get caught in this area during the blizzard and I need a place to shelter. It's good to know it's here. Here comes the music. All day speak. Let me grab a couple sticks. up here, I think, but I don't see one today. This really isn't that tall a mountain. Well, we, oh, look at that. You can see the Crystal Lake right down there. 
Beautifully clear day, eh? Yeah, there's Timberwolf Mountain back there. It's much taller than Andre's Peak. That peak back there is not climbable. It's there for decoration. There are a couple of We have something to eat here. Some salty crackers, maybe? Or a typical energy bar. That's some salty crackers. And some coffee. To wake to wake up a little bit. It's a little cold, but that's okay. I have some water too. Because the salty crackers really do make you very thirsty. Alright, our sleepy eyes a little fuller, so that's good. Alright, I'm taking our climb out this without getting hurt. I think I can. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this isn't bad. There, that's all fine. Did my dare skin along? I did. Thank goodness. Because I have a plan for that dare skin. Oops, I don't have a mountaineering rope, so I can't deploy that there. It's one of the mountaineer stuff which I might actually go and get. Oh, there is another way down, which I will show you later. Assuming I get there without any problem, which appears to be the case today. The most beautiful days you can get on Great Bear. Oh, the fog's rolled in. Where is this rope at? Somewhere around here, no? Definitely not up there. Yeah, it's down this way. There it is down there, I think. This is a very steep hold on. Well, don't get a sprain. I'm going down fast. Thank goodness, no sprains. I know you can't climb with a sprained wrist.
Yeah, this one here does spawn with a climbing rope. Maybe I can chart? It's not super foggy. Uh huh. The fog's getting denser, I think. Oh, yeah. Three coffee. Can't hurt. A long climb. Walks right, we should come across the lake, I think. Although, when I pick up all these sticks, it's kind of tough to know if I'm walking straight or not. Good thing it's not cold. I wish I could get super turned around here in this. Well, I can get super turned around anyway, but if I was cold, I could get turned around and freeze to death fairly easily, but... Toasty warm. What was that? Is that a wolf track? Yeah, it's a wolf track. Here's something. Oh, this is really dense fog. I'm not sure if this is the right way, but we'll know in a minute. Maybe I can ask the wolf if he knows how to get to the mountain here. So that's probably a bad idea. Oh yeah, it is. Allows you his ability, that's for sure. If I can find the ice across the lake, that would be good. Let's turn up this way. I heard a wolf bark. Where's the wing? Okay, I'm way over here. Okay. Oh, 
I completely mispressed the leg, I think. He's gonna bother me. He's busy eating a deer. I gotta stick to this side. I think if we can go this way, we should be able to get to Crystal Lake. I'm pretty sure this is the correct direction that I'm going in anyway. Crystal Lake. Okay, perfect. This is gotta be about the densest fog I've ever seen in the game. So I think you could cut it with a hunting knife. Here, here. Oh yeah, there's a fishing shack and the mountaineers up just over here. Here it is, right here. Yeah, you can't even see the fishing shack from the coastline. That dense fog, alright. Get up here. Forget. This way? It works. Alright. Cure deer hide. How's the bear pelts doing? Need more time to cure. Yeah, I figured. a few guts. I've got a whole bunch of these, so that should be enough for what I need to do.
What did I leave in the workbench drawer? I forget. Rifle cleaning kits and quality tools. You have four cured guts. Sure, I have plenty of guts here. Oh, yeah, tons. What's it going to take? What's the best tool? A sewing kit. I think these are better than the boots that I'm wearing. Two, two, a hundred, and let me check the pants I'm wearing. I should get some more snow pants from the plane crash. Now let's start making a uh, or where? There's good boots. Can have a quick drink here. I wonder if I have a bite to eat. Let's eat some salty crackers. Have a quick drink of water. Well, let me check the hats first. I might have pop or something here. I cook some bear meat for tomorrow, that would be a good meal, I think. Now I gotta make some more water anyway, because I'm getting kinda low on water. Craft at night. Do I have lots of fuel keeping around? I think I do. I got a whole bunch of these bottles. Yeah, let's do it. Do some crafting tonight. Come on. Turn off the light. Let me turn off my, uh, my lantern, and the aurora is out. Let's check it out. Oops, I don't really need salty crackers, but whatever, I'll eat some. Good. We can craft by light of the uh, fluorescent light in here. We fill up my lantern. Do I have any oil for? Let's drop that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's the Aurora, all right. Looks cool, but... The best part of the Aurora is we can craft tonight without having to use, uh... We can spill a craft in here without using my lantern, I think. If I can get in the door, that is. Six hours from the Aurora lasts long enough. Aurora. Alright, it's I finished the boots, but it's super dark so you won't be able to see them. So what I'm gonna do is a quick cup of joe to reduce some of the fatigue and then get a quick nap. So I'll see you in the morning. Not sure why I feel so tired. Because you're crafting boots on. Okay, we'll get about five hours sleep. Four hours should be enough. Oop, I'm very thirsty again. I gotta make more water, definitely. But anyway. We're done crafting. What's gut do we have? Tons of guts. Perfect. Two extra hides, which I'm gonna. I'm gonna put these fellows away. Put some of these hides away. leather too. And here's what we made. A pair of deerskin boots. Here's what I was wearing. These insulated boots. 2.8, 1.9C. 2.5 versus 2. So these are not... These ones are a little bit warmer. But these ones here allow you to walk a bit faster. These are a tiny bit cool. These are a little tiny bit warmer than the boots I made, but these are a bit more mobile. Are they more protective? Yeah. We're going to wear them. There we go. Look at that. We look like true explorers now, don't we? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to cut this episode out here. I'm going to cook some food off camera, but other than that, I think we're done. So, take care and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.